Hey guys, welcome back to the Guitar and Harmonica YouTube channel. Uh, today we're in the key of C sharp minor. Uh, I have an E harmonica here in the rack. We're going to be looking at Bob Dylan's All Along the Watchtower. All right. Um, on harmonica, we're going to be playing in fourth position. And in order to find the, the, uh, the right harmonica to play in fourth position, you want to figure out the flatted third of the guitar key that you're in. All right. E is the flatted third in the key of C sharp minor. And for example, if you wanted to play the song in A minor, you would use a C harmonica because that's the flatted third of an A, in an A minor. All right. Um, <clears throat> the tonic root note is the sixth draw on the harmonica. So if you go find out what that sixth hole uh, draw note is, that's your fourth position uh, key harmon uh, harmonica key. All right. Um, as you can see, I'm capoed at the fourth fret, and uh, we're going to be using standard A minor. G and F chord positions. Uh, since we're capoed at the fourth fret, that makes it the key of C sharp minor. Um, you can easily adapt this to any key using the capo, uh, and you'll see it's played in A minor a lot in uh, jam uh, situations, jam sessions. It's a pretty standard guitar key, so you see that happen a lot. And again, if you want to play this in the key of A minor, you're going to grab a, a C harmonica for your rack. Um, the reason we're in, I'm in uh, C sharp uh, minor today is because I was playing this off the Bob Dylan uh, version, which is on the the freewheeling Bob Dylan uh, uh, record. All right, mm -hmm. and he's in C sharp on uh, the bands in C sharp on that uh, version. All right, so let's look at the strum pattern. Um, our chords are going to be A minor. It's a two measure um, uh, pattern. There's two chords in each measure. There's an A minor, and then an A minor with a G in the bass note, and then an F, and then a G, all right? And that just repeats through the whole song. Um, let's play the A minor and the A minor with the G in the bass. So you're just striking that open uh, uh, A note. Um, I'm just going to talk about this as if the capo wasn't on here and make it easier to, to communicate. Um, so it'd be the open uh, A string and then down up brush. And then grab the the uh, low E string, uh, what would be the the, the third fret, um, uh, if we weren't capoed. So the first two chords. All right. So you hold, try and hold that A minor shape while you just grab the the uh, the G note there. All right. All right. Now go move to an F chord. I'm grabbing the low E string with my thumb and uh, playing a standard F shape here. Uh, and it's going to be the same uh, technique where you bass note down up again. So first three chords. So you got a cool um, walking bass pattern that you're playing. And then when you get to the, the G, you're going to pause on the, the downstroke and then brush up and then down up. All right, so it's... Um, so let's play the whole progression. And this just repeats through the whole song, right? You can dampen it with your palm, your strumming hand if you want. Give it a little bit more of a per uh, percussive effect. Alright, um, that's the whole pattern for uh, Dylan's All Along the Watchtower. The song structure, um, so just keep kind of playing through that. You might want to set a, a metronome just to, um, you know, kind of get it embedded if you're not used to already playing that progression. Um, and, uh, you know, start slow as always. You can always build up speed. Um, the song structure, there's three verses, all right? Um, and uh, he runs through the, that whole progression eight times each uh, since it's a two-measure progression at 16 bars. So each, each verse is 16 uh, bars, and there's four harp solos, including the intro. Uh, he plays an intro before he starts singing verse one, and then he plays a, uh, a harmonica solo after each verse. Um, he uses, you can think of it as kind of a turnaround uh, after each verse into the next verse. And um, um, <clears throat> 
what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the uh, the intro harmonica solo and then the first solo that he plays, after, well, the second solo after the first verse, all right? And then the next video will cover um, solos three and four because um, he plays one after the last verse as well as kind of an outro, all right? Um, so let's, uh, uh, the, the thing that's common to each of these uh, solos is that he always starts he, he's um, singing except for the, the intro one he's not singing yet but he's singing up until that F chord right before the G and then his solos start on the uh, G chord um, and then the whole progression starts to, to uh, repeat after that um, so if we're on the intro still he's just uh, kind of starts the song playing the progression and then his solo starts on the G chord uh, before it start, the progression starts over again. And on the G, he's playing a five blow, six blow. All right, that's kind of the intro. And then the progression starts over at the A minor. And on the first A minor, he's playing a six draw, seven draw, six draw. So there's our, uh, th that's the beginning of it. And then on the A minor with the G in the bass, he's playing a six blow, five blow, six blow. Uh, so let's play it up to that part. Um, and uh, on the, well, actually, let's go to the F because he just holds it that for the F. So here's the intro. on the sixth uh, or on the G rather he goes uh, six blow six draw and he holds that uh, until the progression starts to repeat again all right um, and as you can notice a lot of stuff's right around the six uh, six hole so um, here's the uh, the beginning of it and then um, he holds that for the A minor when the progression starts over again. And uh, on the G, he kind of holds it for the first part of the beat, and then he plays a five blow, six blow. Um, so it's, uh, let's see, he's on six draw. And he goes to the F chord. He's holding that six blow now all the way through the progression. And then... Um, it starts over on the A minor, and he, he draws on the 6, and he starts kind of bending it around a little bit, and he holds that for the A minor with the G in the bass, um, and then he blows out on 5, 6, 7 up when he gets to the F, and then just kind of pauses and then starts singing again. So let's try running through that whole thing a couple times, and um, you'll hear it. Do that one more time. Uh, we'll kind of we can slow it down a little bit. Maybe uh, starts off five blow, six blow, and then once it gets to the A minor chord, it's six draw, seven draw, six draw, and then gets to six blow. That's a cool lick, by the way. Six blow, five blow, uh, six blow. So. It's That last chord there is five, six, seven, kind of opens his mouth up a little wider and blows um, on that F chord, and then he moves back to the G. That's and he always he, he doesn't play anything over that G because you kind of ready yourself to start singing the next verse, or in this case, the first verse, since this is the 
um, the intro to the song. All right, so let's run through that one more time, and then we'll get to the solo that he plays after the first verse. that up a little bit there at the ending, but one more time we'll do it. And just play around with that. Um, you'll hear some cool stuff. And again, these are just ideas. I mean, there's no better place to to look at than uh, Bob Dylan's. Um, if you're if you're looking to to um, you know learn some stuff on harmonica and guitar, um, in my opinion, anyway. So let's look at the first ver after the first verse. Uh, the so the, actually technically the second solo. All right. Um, and again, he starts at the same place. He's singing. Um, all the way up to the F, and then when it gets to the G, this time he goes six blow, seven blow. All right. And then he six draw on the first uh, A minor, and then he just kind of bends it. Uh, a little bit. Um, don't blow your harmonic out, but just you can, he, you can hear him uh, doing some bends on the A minor G chord, um, and he holds that for the F, and then um, uh, for the first time through the progression, that G chord, he goes back up to the seven blow, six blow. So this is again after the first verse. So now we're into the second time through. Uh, he's six draw again on the A minor chord, and then A minor G in the bass. He goes six blow, seven blow. All right. Um, so let's. Uh, that'll just sound like this. Sorry, six draw. So let's take uh, let's take it the the whole thing from the beginning uh, after the first verse. He's singing here. Six blow, seven blow. That's a really cool lick. So the second time through the A, a minor, uh, for, through the progression, all right, here, here's the second time through. It just goes a six draw. And then when he gets to the A minor with the G in the bass, he goes six blow, seven blow. And then on the F, he goes down to the five blow. Cool, right? Cool melody. And then on the when he comes back to the G goes six blow, seven blow. Alright, now the progression is starting over again. Six draw. So he's moving from the seven blow to the six draw on the G A minor. Then he bends it a little bit on the for the A minor G in the bass. And then when he gets to the uh, to the F, he goes seven draw, seven blow, six draw. So the first uh, all three. That's cool on the F. Check that out. It's, when you're on the F, it's seven draw, seven blow, six draw. All right. When he gets to that last uh, chord in the in that 
time through, he goes, he, he basically blows out and uh, and then draws on the sixth, uh, uh, sixth hole. So that, that time through, let's go. time through he's still still on that sixth draw he's kind of bending it a little bit and then he blows out five six seven uh chord he opens his mouth up and then he moves it down a little bit to four five six uh to, to, for that uh f chord before the final g where he pauses and uh rests before the the next verse before the second verse so let's try running through this whole thing once uh slow so again, he's singing here. All right, one more, let's do it again. Again, these are just little riffs to give you ideas. Uh, he probably never played this the same way again. Uh, maybe did, but <laughs> probably not. And, uh, you know, the, the idea here is that it's all built around the sixth draw, so you can um, use these ideas and then build uh, in some of your own. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing any uh, songwriting, um, and um, it's, a, it's a great uh, springboard to, to, to get some of your own ideas churning, all right? Um, Again, if you want to listen to the record, that's off the freewheeling uh, Bob Dylan version uh, of All Along the Watchtower, okay? So have fun with that. I'm going to uh, make a uh, next video about the, the other two solos in there. Um, there's some cool riffs happening in those two, so I hope you tune in. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Our Facebook uh, is Guitar and Harmonica, and uh, we have a website, guitarandharmonica.com. Uh, All right, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.